Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carolyn. I'm a twin mom. And today I'm gonna to be doing an unboxing and full review of the Ergo Baby Metro Plus Stroller. If you're not familiar with Ergo Baby, they actually are really well known for making very well-made baby carriers. And now they have a stroller. So I'm really excited to test it out and share with you what I think of it. And if you're new here, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. If you're a mama, I share a lot about twin mom life Life, as well as family travel tips and family travel gear, hence the stroller today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you find it helpful and let's get going. <laughs> so at first glance, it looks really nice. It's very compact and the box looks really nice. It looks like they take care of their stuff when they send it to you. what it looks like you can see I've just pulled it out by the wheels on this side and it is folded over I'll go ahead and unfold it and take off all of the material so this is the ergo baby Metro plus stroller and as you can see it has a pretty high handlebar which I can definitely appreciate because I am really tall. It does have a sun canopy that goes pretty low to protect that little one from sunshine and all the elements, which is nice. And it also came with a rain cover. This was in the box. So this is like a plastic material that would cover it up if you're in the rain, which is really cool that it comes with that. And then it folds quite loudly. <laughs> So it folds all the way back, which is nice. And then for the seat here, it has a very soft, squishy material. I feel like this would be very comfortable if your little one was sitting on it. And then as a standard, it has these nice cushioned side bars here that would go in when you actually put your child into the harness. And then it also has a five point harness. So. Um, two points on the top, one point on each side, and the bottom, which is a really good type of harness. And this button looks like a universal button for unbuckling, so you just push the button and all of these pop out nice and easily. And then these are actually slightly different than how other strollers that I've used in the past work and that these two straps are still connected and these two straps are still connected, so they actually go right into the center. Very easy. And what I will say, just from pushing it around in a circle, it has really good turning radius. The wheels are smaller. So as you can see, the wheels are definitely smaller than a lot of the different strollers that are out there. They kind of are comparable to a travel stroller or an umbrella stroller that folds up really small. The nice thing about this is I kind of see it as a travel type stroller or an umbrella stroller that is luxury material made. So it's essentially a stroller that you would find easy to take places because of the fact that it's so light. Like I can lift the whole thing up without an issue even while I'm squatting. <laughs> And additionally, like I said, the padding here is very soft. I definitely think that this padding is something that any kid would be really comfortable on. And additionally, the stroller itself has many different features that most travel strollers don't have. So for example, this leg rest here is adjustable. It pops into place all the way up to this high setting. And the nice thing about that is if you wanted to grab something from the front, if you needed to get something out from under, and it does have ample storage, or if your kid just wants to have their feet up, you know, it actually has a feature where it can go back. So if I pull on this lever on the back, this stroller will actually lay down almost all the way to flat mode. So in this mode, this is a very nice feature to have 
on any stroller, especially when you're traveling because your little one will get tired when you're traveling, that's a given. So let me show you how this looks. So when it is fully reclined, it goes back underneath where the seat was before and it's inverted. So you can see that your little one can actually lay here with their legs flat and everything. And you can adjust how high this leg support goes by pushing on this button here on each side. So I've just adjusted it to be completely flat or it can go down or it can go up. So I've just adjusted for this footrest to go down, but I can adjust it up one, two, or three levels. Oh, it actually goes four levels up. I'm not entirely sure why you would need to put it up this high. Maybe if you're getting things out from underneath. And I will say I love that it actually does have storage underneath. I have used so many different travel strollers and none of them really had good storage space underneath. So that is a really nice feature. And then additionally, it has this little area for your child to put their feet if they are putting their feet all the way down. Because again, I just put this back down to the full low mode and that's where their feet would hang if they have long legs. Now, another thing that I actually really like about the back of this is this can un velcro here and you can actually play peekaboo with your little one and it un velcros on this side as well. So you can lift up this flap and say hello or you can just check on them if they're sleeping. For example, if you had this fully reclined, then it would be a little harder to just peek in and see from the front without them seeing you. So if you do it from back here, you can check on them while they're sleeping or while you're walking with them. Furthermore, you wouldn't have to lift this up and make noise because that's the only bummer about this is it is quite loud when you move it, but you know, it gets the job done. And again, for a stroller, that is on the more affordable side, it's just important to have those features because I've never seen a travel or umbrella stroller that has any of those features. So I would categorize this definitely as a luxury travel stroller or as an affordable everyday stroller because your travel strollers are typically really cheap. A lot of them turn out to be like umbrella strollers where the wheels are just horrible. And these, even though they are smaller for your typical everyday stroller wheels, they are bigger than your everyday umbrella travel size stroller wheels. So that is a plus. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back into upright seating mode. And I'll just show you really quick how I do that. All I have to do is pull this strap and this strap at the same time. Like that. And then as you can see, those straps get pulled out and that's how it goes back into full upright mode. Let me show you that again from an angle so you can see it going all the way up. So this is just to show again how easy it is. Pull on these two sides. That's it. Another feature that I wanna highlight that again is really important and every single stroller seems to vary in the quality with the braking mechanism. So this stroller moves really smoothly, turns with a great radius because these little wheels do a great job of doing that really smoothly. But whenever you wanna stop, we just push down on that and that is not moving at all. That is a very solid lock, and I can feel comfortable that if this is locked, it's not going anywhere. And then to unlock it, I just use my foot here, and I lift up like that, and that's it. And then it moves again. Very easy, which is definitely important. And 
it's in a good comfortable spot that makes sense. Actually, I know a lot of strollers that only have it on one side. And what's nice about actually having it in the middle is that it could work for either of your feet, depending on which one you wanna use. I don't know, I'm right-handed, so I probably use my right foot most of the time. But for those of you who are not right-handed or right-footed, I guess, that is just a nice option that they did put in there. Now, we should talk about the handlebar to show you what the options are that are available there as well, because again, it is adjustable. As you can see, there are these little levers here on each side, which can help you choose how high you want it to go. And as you can see, there's multiple different settings here. So if I pull this out like that, and I do the same on this side, then let me move this out of the way. Then I will be able to push this down and have it be whatever height seems comfortable for me. Whether it's this one, this one, the next one. Oh, or is that the top? Or the very top. I guess that is the very top. So. So that's the lowest setting, and yeah, that's the highest setting. And that's how it locks in place. Okay, so most importantly, we gotta talk about how to fold this thing up, because if you're gonna travel with it, it needs to be foldable. So, there is this little lever right here on the handlebar, and then there's also a sliding mechanism on the back of the handlebar. So all I do is I slide this button here to the right, and then I push this front button. You want it to be a two button thing so that you don't have it accidentally happen without you intentionally doing it. And then I just push this forward and it folds down on itself. And then the back, automatically starts to fold down and into itself like that. Voila. And then it actually, on this side, you can choose if you want to lock it or not, but if you want it to lock on this side, then you just have to fold the wheels out so they're facing this way. And then this little thing pops into place. So again, that's the little piece where it locks on the side there, it's holding it together. So when you're gonna open it, you have to pull this out before it will open. Otherwise, it'll be latched in. Then you just hold the handlebar and you go like this. In all honesty, it does take a couple times to get this down. I'll just do it again so that you can see how this full stroller folds up and how it unfolds. Locked in. Unlock. Oh, wow, it actually is easier when it is not locked on the bottom. So I would recommend that if you are opening it that way. Well, okay, I think that's pretty much all that there is to know. I mean, the main features of the stroller are that it's really light, it's very easy to turn, it's very comfortable, and it feels like it would be very safe for a little one, which is really important. The material is quality, the design is quality, it has features where your baby can go all the way down to a laying position, similar to if you had a bassinet, which is not something that most travel or umbrella strollers have. The wheels are good quality, they would do a good job in most areas, I wouldn't recommend them for terrain or anything like that. It's probably something that you could use for every day if you wanted to. 
but for me personally, I would prefer bigger wheels on my everyday use stroller just because I like to go over all the types of terrain and not get limited if it's snowing or rocky or something like that. But this is definitely luxury when it comes to the travel stroller area. And if you're comparing it to umbrella strollers, this is definitely the top of the top. If you wanted to take it with you on an airplane, it would probably fit in the overhead bin. Just at least I would think it would. Maybe don't quote me on that, but just based on the size, I would assume that if you take it on an airplane, it would fit under the overhead bin. Heck, it might even fit under the seat, depending on what airline you're on. So maybe if you are thinking of doing that, I would recommend double checking the exact measurements and then double checking with the airplane just to make sure. Um, otherwise, they might require you to gate check it. But I just, I do think that this is the perfect design for a travel stroller. Like that's, that's really what I, would have to say the most about this stroller is, is like the best part of it is that it would make a great travel stroller. I wish that it was a double, honestly, because you know I have twins. <laughs> yeah, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, this stroller does retail for $2.99. I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can check it out online if you're interested in getting it. And if you have any other questions, yeah, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. It's a great looking stroller. Um, oh, the material is washable, which is also nice. It looks like it comes off really easily. There's a pocket in the back that I forgot to mention, which I think is, you know, kind of just standard nowadays to have a pocket down here. The top also has a peekaboo pocket. I think that's the only other thing that I didn't mention. You can see this part right here pops open. So not only can you do peekaboo when the baby is laying down, but you can also do peekaboo up here, so. Okay, oh, you know what? One other feature I would like to highlight is the handlebar is also quite soft, which again, you don't see on your everyday travel stroller. So again, it's, uh, it's on the small scale when you're looking at your everyday jogging type strollers or something like that but it's on the luxury scale if you're looking at a travel stroller or an umbrella stroller. So, you know, it's up to you which way you wanna use it. I could see this definitely going both ways. And, oh, I just feel like it would be a really comfortable place for a little one. So, okay. I wanna thank you to Ergo Baby for sponsoring this video so that I could test this out to share my real thoughts and opinions with you guys. And like I said, they really are known for being a good brand. So it doesn't surprise me that they've been able to come up with a very simple yet sleek design for allowing people to move around with their little one and travel, things like that, just like their actual carriers allow you to do as well. So if you're not familiar with Ergo Baby, I definitely recommend you checking them out. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, I invite you to subscribe. If you like twin mom life or family travel tips, this is the place to be. Click that big thumbs up. And I am so glad that you're here. Thanks. Have a great day, guys. See you next time. Bye.